Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have 2 times 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared is equal to 30. And we have to find the values of x. But before we begin, you know the deal. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. If you study this equation very carefully, you can see that x equals 1 is a solution to the problem. But the question is, is x equals 1 the only solution to this problem? The answer is big no. There is other solution to this problem, so let's figure it out, right? First and first, let's go ahead and then divide each side of this equation by 2. So that these two will cancel this. 2 goes into itself 1 and then goes into 30, 15 times, okay? So this equation becomes 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared is equal to 15. If we try to divide each side of this equation by 15, it's going to be something scary and we don't want that, okay? Now, if I have a to the power b equals a to the power c, I can simply say that b is equal to c. Why? Because we have the same basis, okay? So let's go ahead and then make the basis of this equation the same so that we can equate the exponent. So how can this be possible? Now watch this. I'll write this 3 over here as 5 to the power log base 5 of 3, okay? And this whole thing represents this 3, okay? Then to the power what we have here, which is x, then times 5 to the power x to the second power, and this is equal to, now I'll write this 15 as 5 to the power log base 5 of 15. Okay, now from indices, if I have a to the power m or to the power n, this is the same as a to the power m times n. Okay, so this means that I can multiply this x by what we have here, which is log base 5 of 3. Okay, so we have... 5 to the power x log base 5 of 3, then times 5 to the power x to the second power, and this is equal to 5 to the power log base 5 of 15. Oh, this is very nice, huh? You can see we have the same basis multiplying, so I can just write one of them and then add the exponent. So I'm going to write this one first. So we have x to the second power, then plus this whole thing, which is x log base 5 of 3 is equal to 5 to the power log base 5 of 15. Now you can see the bases are the same, so I can equate the exponent. So we have x to the second power plus x log base 5 of 3 is equal to log base 5 of 15. Now let's go ahead and then equate everything to 0. So we have x to the second power plus x log base 5 of 3 minus log base 5 of 15, and this is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation, so you can use quadratic formula to solve this, but thanks to tic-tac-toe boss, I'm not going to use quadratic formula. Okay, so please go ahead and then use quadratic formula to solve this, and then let me know your answer in the comment section down below. Right. Now using tic-tac-toe box, I will draw my box here. Okay, so we have x squared here. Then this one over here, which is x log base 5 of 3, then negative log base 5 of 15. All right. Now the deal in using this tic-tac-toe box is that on this first column, we'll be using the multiplication operation. Then here we have the addition operation and then back to multiplication again, okay? So you ask yourself what times what will give you x squared. And it is simple, right? x times x will give you x squared. Now let's leave this boss and then jump to the last one, which is this one, okay? Now you ask yourself what times what will give you negative log base 5 or 15. Now this is very simple. Negative 1 and then log base 5 of 15. 15 okay please don't do this mistake don't just say we have negative log base 5 of 5 and then log base 5 of 3 
Even the whole of this one will give you negative one. So there's no way this times this will give you what we have over here. Okay. And besides, you can't just multiply this and then this one straight away. Okay. It doesn't work like that. All right. Now the question is, how do we find what is in the middle? I mean, these bosses. How do we find that? If we multiply this x by this whole thing, you are getting what is here. So we have x log base 5 of 15. Then if we multiply this x by this negative 1, we have negative x over here. And the deal is, if you add the whole of this and then this one, you are getting what is here. And it's true, okay? So we have x minus 1 over here as one of the factors, this one. And then x plus log base 5 of 15 as the other factor. And this is equal to 0. Okay? So we can simply say that x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus log base 5 of 15 is equal to 0. So from this equation, we can simply say that x is equal to 1. Okay? Then from here, moving this whole thing to the right-hand side, we can say that x is equal to negative log base 5 of 15. And guess what? These are the two values of x which satisfy the equation. Okay? So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and then take good care of yourself so that I will see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.